is going on CC Cam here you guys are winners and welcome to another tournament information video this time on the UT4 ICTF 2018 Draft Cup hosted by Unreal Battles so for everybody new to Unreal Tournament Instagib this is uh, one hit one kill different maps no pickups no armor nothing like that CTF so capture the flag most flags at the end of the game wins and kills don't particularly matter for everybody new to the community, uh, welcome and thank you for playing. Uh, first cup, we had 200 participants. Second cup, around 140. And the third cup, we had 150. You will need to play two pickup games with the community before you'll be added to the participants list. And that's just so that you can get to know the community, you know sort of how it's going to work. And so that we can rank you. The more games you play, the better you're going to get. The better chance you're going to have of getting picked in the draft. Because even if you're slightly worse, if someone knows you, they're more likely to pick you up. There's going to be 20 teams with 6 players per team. 4 groups and 5 teams per group. It's going to be 5 group matches. You're going to play everyone in your team plus a cross match. Uh, after the group stage... The number fives of each team are eliminated and the players are eliminated. So if you get eliminated, you can't be picked up by another team. First four teams in a group proceed to the do or die round. In the group stage, it is a fixed three maps per match. The maps are predefined by the admins. No overtime and every match week, all teams play the same three maps. If there is an overtime, so it's a draw at the end of the 20 minutes, then simply one team's going to cap and just to get the screenshot. In the playoffs, it's going to be best of three or best of five, and a decider map is to be played when needed. For the preliminary round and the quarter final, it's best of three with each team picking one map. For the semi final and grand final, it's best of five with each team picking two maps. The decider map will be predefined by the admins. There's no overtime on the maps picked by the teams, only the decider map is taken into overtime if there is no clear winner out of all the other four maps or three maps uh, sorry two maps in the uh flurry and quarters the picked maps should be given to your group admin or another cup admin within 24 hours before your map starts the map list is acrony bleak broken limits command dooku grudge klondike mesmerize overflow ranking sprinter and switchbacks but that's not finalized right now Overtime is going to be only decider maps and all other maps will just end after regular time. So there's no overtime at all in the group stages. In the group matches, there is a new ranking system. Three maps per map win, one, map, one point for a map draw. Each map, the total amount of caps will be counted and this amount will be multiplied by 0.2. And that score will be added to your total score. You can only earn a maximum of three points by flag captures, which means a maximum of 15 caps made over the total, and more than 15 flags won't give you any points. In the do or die round, it is going to be uh, if Team A wins map one and Team A wins map two, there's no decider. If Team A wins map one and Team uh, map 2 is a tie, then there is also no decider. So it's only if it's a win and a uh, win for team A, win for team B, or a tie on both maps that the decider map is actually played. In the grand final, it's easiest to count for every map win, it's two points, and for every map draw, it's one point, and the first to five points wins. With the substitute si system now, in the group matches, you may never bench the same player twice in a match. This means three different players will sit a map each week, since group matches consist of three maps. In the playoffs, the old system is going to be used. After each map, a team is forced to sub a player, but it can be whoever uh, the captain wants to sub. It means a player can't sit two maps in a row, but it means that the same player could sit out twice if they played only the middle map. In decider maps, each team can play with whatever five they want. If a team can't field six players and couldn't get a trade, the opposite team may claim a forfeit map win. This counts for group stages and final stages, but you can only make that uh, one map. 
However, the other captain also has the option to still play the map in whatever formation and the team doesn't need to swap a player if they do decide to play the map. This is good if you need those extra points for flag captures. When the admins find out that a captain was lacking in the organising, the result of the war will instantly turn into a default win for the opposition. Any nicknames should be whatever your UT in-game nickname is and it would be preferable if you changed your one on uh, Unreal Battles Discord over to whatever your in-game nickname is as well, just to keep things simple. All captains are in the possibility to trade players from their team for someone in the free players pool, so people who haven't been picked, or directly when confirmed and approved by another captain and an admin for a player on another team. Trades are only possible within your budget, which you'll still have after you've made all of the picking at the start, and you need to inform an admin about it before you go across. Protected drops are still here, that means you can drop a player from your team for one match week, but they are not uh, they're not able to be picked up by someone else. It's not able to protected drop the same player two weeks in a row. In the free players pool, players who are not drawn for a team will go into it, and players who get dropped out of their team go into it. All players from the free player pool are accessible to all matches except if players are out after the do or die round they can't go back into the free player pool they are out of the cup always stay active and be online if you're in the free player pool the more you play the more likely you're about to get traded into another team if something's not working for a captain and they want to bring someone else in a player can only play for one team each match week though players who are eliminated are not available again just restating that for the match schedule, do your utter best to start matching your at your start time. This is normally Sunday at uh, 20 or 21 CET. Between maps, you can have a five minute break, which usually happens just to swap teams over, get warmed up for your new players. Each team is allowed to schedule a match at a different time if both captains agree at least 24 hours before the start time. If a new date can't be found, this match has to be played the l uh, at late the first Wednesday after the original match day. You must play your match before the next match begins. We do tend to have people playing two maps in a row, uh, two matches in a row the next week, but that can always be happened. Captains can never be forced to reschedule. It's polite and sportive to find a date suitable, but if you can't find a date other than the set Sunday evening, you can refuse the reschedule and claim a forfeit win for either a certain map or for the whole game. If you can't field for uh, your whole team, then you claim a the other team can claim a forfeit win. If a team can't field five players for the second map, then uh, the opposite team claim a forfeit win on that map. And if both teams don't show up and no reschedule was made, it is zero points to each team. The end rankings, if teams have the same points when the group stage is done, their individual match outcome decides only map points are taken into account. Flag captures go out of the window if they have the same points overall. If individual score was equal, then the amount of caps made will take into account. If the caps are made the same, then the group together of both of the clans decides. If more teams have the same total points, then scored caps will decide who ends where. Going into the playoff stages, after a group stage, number one to number four will proceed to the preliminary round. Uh, you have to sub a map after each map. You're free to decide whoever you want to sub. Uh, each team will pick one map, as we've discussed previously. Same for the quarterfinals, then the semi-finals it goes to best of five, and the grand finals it is also best of five. The budget looks about like what's on screen right now and it is the cheapest uh, round will cheapest team will always start first in the picking so hopefully a bunch of people will start signing up and start joining into the pickups that are happening at the minute over at unreal tournament for instagib unreal battles community there will be a link down in the description and somewhere possibly on screen right now so head over there, sign up for the cup, play some games and have a ton of fun. Good luck, have fun to all of the players.